Adam Ahmed loves the Habs, but to catch them on home ice, he has to catch a plane. And that's when issues arise, just like they did yesterday. We, we couldn't check in online or at the kiosk. We had to go to the counter and they had to call security to uh, clear him. This has happened for 10 years, Adam's entire life, because his name appears on the no-fly list. His dad was so fed up about yesterday's holdup. I turned the agent's screen and took a photo of it. And tweeted it out, saying, we hope at no-fly list kids the silliness and soon, Bill Blair. The Minister of Public Safety responded, apologizing for the difficulties. His staff reached out right away, and to Minister Blair's credit, we are meeting with him on Thursday. But the government had already promised to fix the issue back in 2016 when Adam's problem first came to light. It said then it was looking into a redress number system used in the United States. Basically a number in addition to your name that identifies you. This shouldn't happen and the fact that the United States has had a working redress system for 10 years, like. Can't you just copy paste? In an email, the government told CBC it has invested $81.4 million over five years to build a new centralized screening system. That should roll out late next year. But Suleiman says he's only cautiously optimistic, citing concern over a CBC News exclusive that Transport Canada took 10 years to investigate a racist song that was shared in the no-fly list office by someone who still works for the government. Government. So right now our, our confidence is shaken. He's talking about the hundreds of families that are part of his group, no fly list kids. There are kids in our group who have become adults who are stopped, who don't go on basketball trips, who don't travel anywhere else. The hope is that will change soon so Adam and all the others can move around freely. Natalie Nanowski, CBC News, Toronto.